Hello and welcome to God's Word for today. Praise God. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. And truly it is a pleasure to come into God's house and worship a big God. Worship him in spirit and in truth. The Bible says that those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. It's a pleasure to do that. It's a pleasure to bow our knees before the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, the Bible says, in whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Praise God. Paul prayed some awesome prayers in Ephesians for the saints. And you know what? We do well to confess those scriptures, to pray those scriptures for ourselves and others. Praise God. Because they're, they're awesome prayers. He prayed that in Ephesians chapter 1, I think it is, that the eyes of our understanding would be enlightened, that we may know what is the hope of his calling and the riches of his inheritance in the saints. And that, in other words, he wanted those, he wanted everyone else to know what he knew and what he had seen and what the Lord had showed him. He wanted everybody else to know that. And God did give him some awesome revelation, wrote many, several books of the Bible, the biggest majority of the Bible Paul wrote. And I'll tell you something, because he had revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ. And just think, all... All the people that had a hand in writing the scriptures, inspired by the Holy Spirit, of course. You know, they had revelation. They wrote what the Lord had revealed to them. Well, I'll, I'll tell you something. God is still revealing stuff to people today. And you know, new revelation is coming forth every day. The same scripture can have several revelations. God can reveal it to you. It can have, it can go several different ways and lead into other subjects and stuff. So it's good to meditate on the Lord. Good to spend time in the Word. Meditate on the Scriptures. Read the Word of God. See, when your time becomes valuable to God, God will use your time. You know, the Bible says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. The writer wants us to re redeem the time. The Lord wants us to. But the Lord, when he gives us, he's not going to, you know what, why should he, you know, give us more time and more relaxation and, or more money to just sit on the couch and watch TV or just get on the computer or, you know, or just go out shopping or something like that. No, God wants us to consider the things of him valuable and honor him. And like we've said so many times in the past few months, we've talked about honor, honoring God. God said, those who honor me, in 1 Samuel 2.30, I will honor. But those that despise me, that word despise, they used it back then. It's not like we use it today. That word despised is translated um, even ignoring the things of God, even devaluing them, not, not placing any value on God. And he said, those that despise me will be lightly esteemed. And different translations say, you know, uh, define that lightly esteemed. Some even say cursed. Some say ignored. Ignored. So you know what? If we ignore God, if we ignore the things of God, do you know we just might get ignored? According to the scriptures, according to Second Sam or First Samuel, chapter two and verse thirty. It's so important, you know, and, and you think about our children and we've told our children and we've been guilty of that too. Honey, you can be anything that you want to be when you grow up. That's a lie. We shouldn't do that. And, and not and they can't they could be 
anything that they wanted to be, but would they be successful? Because God has a plan for every person. We need to find that plan. We need to tell our children, honey, we're going to find out what God wants you to be, and you can be what God wants you to be and be successful doing it. Ain't that good? Yeah, praise God. Amen. And that's honoring God. And the Bible says, you, uh, the Bible says uh, something to the effect, go to hear people that say uh, that if the Lord will, or we're going to go buy and sell, we're going to go into the town, or we're going to go into the city and buy and sell. He said, you should say, if the Lord will. See, that shows the kind of person and I know, I know sometimes people don't want to hear if the Lord will. But in that, in that instance, the, see, the Bible's true. Every bit of the Bible's true. 